All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Gaming Fix, where we give you news articles, uh, new gaming updates, and anything that happened over the past week or upcoming week. Uh, so, what for this week, I'm going to be talking about the new Mortal Kombat uh, DLC characters and the new characters in the game. Next, we're going to move on to uh, Spider-Man's new story trailer, and then we're going to talk about the High on Life. It's going to launch on the PlayStation now, it's on the Xbox already, but they gave a surprise reveal. It's going to be on the uh, PlayStation now. And last but not least, I'll get into a little bit more of the Star Wars Outlaws game. So, right off the bat, let's talk about this new Mortal Kombat. So, I am loving the new rollout. I'm just loving the rollout for this game, period. Ed Boon, he knows what he's doing with this whole marketing uh so the game releases september 21st make sure to mark those calendars um pre-order if you haven't already because i'm about to get it and uh yeah if y'all want to play online just let me know uh so for the characters we got three new characters right we got uh, Baraka, we got Tanya, and we got another female character. I forgot her name, um, but they all cold. Baraka especially, I was impressed by his whole move set. So the story, I'm curious as to how this story is gonna play out. So, in with the Tarkatan story, that's what that's like Baraka's race or whatever. It's not really a race in this game. It's more of a disease. So it's a whole new twist to everything. So that's why they're like face and teeth look like that. Cause they got the disease. That's how Melina looks. She, that's, that's why she got the disease. Cause she got that, you know, y'all know how Melina looks. So it's more of a disease in the actual race, which I am curious uh, so with this story, it's a, it takes a whole new twist on certain things and I'm all here for it. Uh, so like I said, I'm interested in how this is going to play out, um, with these fighting games and the story, especially with like Mortal Kombat, they've, each game has progressed. They've gotten better and better with the story writing. Uh, and with, I'm surprised even with that being a fighting game. Uh, but what I am looking forward to is this new com uh this new combat pack so in the official combat pack roster reveal trailer invincible's omni man can be seen in the video we got ermac we got dc's peacemaker we got quan chi and takeda i was not i was not expecting quan chi to pop up didn't we kill him off in the last two games Hey, somebody let me know. I may be wrong, but we can always bring characters back. Uh, but anyway, I think my headset went off. But anyway, but I am I am interested in playing with Omni Man. I'm curious as to how his move set is gonna be. Now, some people say that Omni Man and and uh, Homelander are gonna be kind of like the same. I don't think so. I think Omni Man is gonna be more of a technical type fighter than homelander homelander i feel like homelander just punches and shoots lasers out of his eyes or whatever and he he's gonna be strong as fuck but but i feel like omni man got more moves he has a more of a better move set i could be wrong who knows i already know these fatalities gonna be crazy they are going to be crazy like they already creative with the fatalities that we've seen. Nether Rim is just they just they like we do this on regular. How can we up it even more? And they are doing just that. So I am excited, like I said, September twenty first, Mortal Kombat releases. So y'all get ready for that. We got a new story trailer for Spider Man two. And we got a little bit more of Venom's background. So, uh, this game is releasing October 28th. And they gave us a little bit more of a um, of a plot. So, we already know about Kraven. 
We already know what he's about. I'm interested in how Venom going to play out in this game. And uh, from what I saw, Harry Osborn is looking like he's going to be the new Venom. Now, that's a twist I was not expecting at all. So, I feel like Peter is going to have the black suit. He's going to have the symbiote. He's going to overcome it later in the game. And then it's going to get attached to Harry. And that's just going to be a whole other thing. So, I am I am excited for how the story is going to gonna be with this game and that's just like with Mortal Kombat this takes a whole new twist on the regular either we got like a um like Eddie Brock or like a Flash Thompson being a a Venom it's Harry Osborn uh so yeah I'm looking forward to playing both Peter Parker and Miles Morales um now who knows we might even be playing Venom Who knows? It could bring me back to that ultimate Spider-Man feel. And shout out to everybody who's played that game. I know if y'all played that game, it's it's, it's giving heavy nostalgia if you've seen this trailer. Uh, we've seen, I think this is like a five to six year um, time, time span from the uh, first game. So everybody is experienced. Miles Morales is more experienced with his powers. As we've seen in the gameplay, uh, Peter Parker, we already know what he's about. He's he been doing this. Uh, he just got the black suit now. And, um, yeah, we got some new enemies. And the voice actor behind Spider-Man was like, yo, you think y'all have seen some, some stuff? Y'all have not seen anything. So that scares me, but in a good way. Because I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. But there's also a plus Sony also revealed a limited edition PS5 bundle you can buy alongside the game. If y'all haven't got a PS5, October is going to be the perfect time to get it because you're going to have this new Spider-Man um, controller and you're going to have the uh, the cover faceplate. So, uh, Spider-Man shiny red and trying to get pure black. So, we got the controller right here. This looks so cool. Alright, so if you already got the PS5, Sony will sell the same console covers and controllers separately. Uh, previous cons console covers have cost between $55, $65. So, that's around that range that you're looking at. Uh, now, pre-order for these, these items are going to be Friday, July 28th. So, if y'all are looking forward to getting that, make sure y'all mark y'all's calendars for, get, uh, for this. Because when July 28th comes around... Is gonna be sold out. I, I already know it. The trailer, uh, the controller looks cold, and the faceplate. I don't know if I'm gonna get the controller, but I'm I'm definitely gonna get this uh, faceplate. Yeah, that that looks cold. Okay, so that's the other side, and then that's the uh, that's the. I'm trying to see how my PS5 is is faced anyway i'm gonna still get it regardless but yeah they gave us a lot and venom is gonna be a dog in this game he is gonna be a menace i don't think there's gonna be any like anti-hero with this character i think he's gonna be straight villain mode which i love give me give me all that give me all that all right so this was a surprise to me. Um, I think this was kind of a sleeper for a casual gamer, but this launched on the Xbox. Uh, High on Life. If y'all never heard of it, it is a uh, comedy type shooter. Um, you're in, um, you're on Earth. A whole bunch of aliens invade, and it gives you that Rick and Morty type feel, and the dialogue and the comedy is wild. So. Who knows? I might put this on my channel in between. Uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. So, developer Squanch Games made the surprise announcement during San Diego Comic-Con. The fans have spoken and spoken and spoken. 
We've been thrilled with high on life's reception since the launch of December. Our PlayStation fans have been slightly less thrilled, which is why we're excited to share that it's coming their way very soon. Like now soon. Thank you for your patience. So, this game might be coming out next month. Like, when he says real soon, I feel like it's going to be coming out, like, within the next month. Now, this game, I I watched a little bit of the of the uh, the gameplay. This game looks crazy. But I'm excited because I I want to uh, play play being invaded by aliens. I, I love all that. Give me give me give me that Rick and Morty feel. So yeah, High on Life got an eight out of ten. Um, and for Xbox Game Pass, it hit more than seven point five million players. Now, let me not say it's let me not say it's a sleeper, but it's definitely one of those games that came out of 2022 that was that was definitely a deep cut. So I'm excited for this to be on PlayStation. I'm probably gonna get it. Probably gonna get it. And they got new DLC coming. So that's a plus for me. Okay, so we got a little bit more of the Star Wars Outlaws uh, new open world game uh, details. So, this uh, experience, the first ever open world Star Wars game set between the events of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So, I think that's within um, 4 and 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, But you're like a mercenary. So, I don't know what this character is about i don't know if she's been in any of the star wars lore star wars stories Uh, this is k vest that's her name yeah this is completely new to me um so i'm curious as to how she's gonna play play a part in like the jedi or the rebellion uh or if she's just doing this if she's just being going rogue um doing her own thing which is cool too, um, but Ubisoft said they're gonna focus on just open, strictly open world stuff. Now, in my opinion, open world has we've kind of we that wave has kind of came and went. Open world has gotten kind of kind of old now, um, but I'm excited to see what they're gonna bring to the table with this game. We're gonna see. Now, I don't want it to be an open world where you deal with the open world and the, the and the world is just empty. That's what I don't want. I want you to have an open world with a great story and every like everything is a whole bunch of stuff going on in the back. Like the world is very dynamic. Everything changes every time you go on a planet or something. Um, so the way you hop on vehicles and and get on spaceships and fly into space. It, it looks seamless to me, but that's off a trailer that they gave us. We don't know how this game going to play. So, is it too good to be true? We're going to see. We're going to see. So, and it's by Ubisoft. Now, uh, Ubisoft... I have a love and hate relationship with uh, Ubisoft with the stuff that they came out with. Some of it's good. Some of it, I remember it being classics. Others, not so not so much. Um, but like I said in my uh, my last last episode that that I did about Star Wars, if they can do their research and if they can add a great story to this game, I think they can pull it off. It's it's it has potential. There's a million ways they can do right with this game and a million ways they can do wrong. So we'll see. Um, But yeah, if uh, that's going to be it for this week, Um, if y'all are new to the channel, welcome. Um, Like, subscribe, share, comment down below if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all next week. I hope y'all have a great upcoming week and um, I'll see y'all later. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.